All right, let's go after a trapezoid now. So if we zoom down on the properties, the trapezoid has one pair of parallel sides and this other property that the mid-segment is parallel to the bases and one half the sides of the bases. We're going to construct it based on one pair of parallel sides. That's all we have to make. One set of railroad tracks. So, let's get rid of our old drawing. And let's uh, create a line anywhere. Now we need to create a parallel to that. Well, using circles, we need to create a couple of perpendiculars. So we're going to make a perpendicular going up and then we'll make a perpendicular going sideways. Then those two lines will be parallel. So grab a circle, any size circle doesn't matter, but it has to be on the line AB. Make it get another circle. It's got a cross. It can be any size, we can just pop it onto A, that's fine. And we need to get the intersection of those two circles. Where do those two circles cross? So get those points. Now draw lines through those. Get our line, line through F. That line, EF, is perpendicular to BC. If you don't believe me, we'll prove it. I'm going to measure that angle. Uh, so we'll go B, G, D. Notice it came up with a box and it says it's 90. So anytime you make two circles intersect, you can make a perpendicular. So now let's make a perpendicular up here. Two circles, any size. There's times we want to make them the same size, but we can make them any size. They just need to be on the line. And again, find the intersection of those two circles. Intersect. E and F, draw a line through that intersection, that's L and K. Sometimes it's easier to click the letters over here on the side than it is to click. All right, we have parallel lines. There is one set of parallel lines. Now, you make your trapezoid anywhere. This has to be one of the sides has to be up here, and one of the sides has to be down here. Um, so we're going to just make a trapezoid by one side being up here and then one side being down here. There's our trapezoid. One set of parallel lines. Move the dots whatever you want. Parallel. One set. Always. It could be isosceles trapezoid where O and O N and P M are the same size. That's fine. Still a trapezoid. You could have used any of the dots over here as the corners of your trapezoid. I wanted to get it away from the circles, get it away from some of the mess that's over there. Now, there was a property that showed up that said the mid-segment, which is the segment connecting midpoints, was half the size and also parallel. So let us find the mid-segment. So i got to find midpoint of here. And I need a midpoint of here. There is actually a different way to find midpoint. We'll do this one for now. Segment between. Well, well, let's see if it is half. Let's measure stuff. Does it look parallel, first of all? It looks. We'll measure that, too. Um, we need to know how big MN is. 3.55. We need to know how big this is. 5.44. So it should be in between 3.55 and 5.44. It should be the average of those two lines. Which is going to be four point something. Four and a half. All right. If you do the math, crunch the numbers, four and a half does sound good. Um, 0.95 to get me there, and roughly 0.95. There's a little bit of rounding error. Now, is it parallel? Well, that's a slope thing. So we're going to measure the slope of this, and that says 0.01. We'll measure the slope of this, and it says nothing, because it's hiding behind here. It says 0.01. Then we'll measure the slope of this one, and look over here on the right, it says 0.01. So making that mid-segment, 
gonna move these down. Point oh one, point two, point two, point two, point one eight, point one eight, point one eight. Making a mid segment is parallel to the top and the bottom, and also the average of the top and the bottom. This is a trapezoid. Make two circles to make a perpendicular, come up here, make another two circles, make another perpendicular, and you get parallel lines. You need one set of parallel lines for a trapezoid.